we bring in one of the busiest men in the in the city, you could say. Matt Melzack, always busy this time of year. Not just the Toledo Walleye, but the Toledo Mud Hens. He joins us from fifth third. And Matt, okay, here we go. Game six on the road, Fort Wayne, do or die. And I'm going to guess you're going to tell me they're going to do. Well, they're going to have to score, Eric. I, I mean, plain and simple, they're going to have to find a way to score goals. Uh, whether it is crashing the net hard, they maybe you got to get some breaks. They've got to find a way to get a couple goals past Michael Hauser. It, that, that's bar none. That's the end of story. You have 78 shots the last two games. You've only scored twice. Uh, you have to find a way to get pucks behind him because we know Fort Wayne is going to score. There's only been one game in this series where they've been held to less than three goals. That was game two in which Toledo won two to one. While, yes, Toledo very good defensively, and they've kept this offense to under four goals a game, which is their season average during the regular year, Toledo needs to find a way to get their offense going. Uh, with that said, you were on the call, obviously, for game five over the weekend, and I, I was watching at home. I was surprised. Were you surprised by what you saw? Uh, boy, it's yes and no a little bit. I mean, because there was certainly some stretches in there where Fort Wayne dominated. But, I mean, you were at game four where that game was so one-sided, it was ridiculous. I mean, it looked like game one from Fort Wayne's side in which they dominated Toledo. So, I mean, when you go and you look at this series, it's been very difficult to predict each and every game. The way game three ended, you thought Fort Wayne was going to come out and be dominant in game four, and they weren't. Toledo owned them in that game, and in stretches of the game on Saturday, they owned the play as well. And yet, they, here they are, losing two straight games, being outscored in those two games, you know, 7-2. to two. So uh, it, it's amazing. You'd like to say, hey, we've got to, yeah, find a way to score goals, but the way they're trying to score goals just isn't working, and that's the way you have to go about it. They're getting traffic to the front of the net. They're forcing Hauser into rebounds. They're just coming up empty right now, and, and sometimes it just takes a crazy bounce or something ridiculous that happens that can really jumpstart an offense, and perhaps that'll happen to Toledo coming up tomorrow night. Uh, we'll hope things go well. We'll hope everybody's uh, back to full health. I mean, it's the playoffs. People get dinged up. Uh, I do know you and what Kyle Rogers are healthy. You'll be there tomorrow, right? Uh, that is correct. That's the plan. Uh, myself and Kyle, and we'll see you there as well, Eric. Looking forward to that. Maybe not make you run up and down the uh, <laughs> Coliseum steps again. We appreciated it, though, last Friday. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. All right, well, hopefully we bring back a win here to Toledo. we got a Game 7 on Wednesday night. Matt Melzak, voice of the walleye and the mud hens. He'll join us a little bit later in the show with more on the hens. Thanks, Matt.